Most of my icon crosses have eyes, which is the eye of God. I use my own eye as a model, in case anyone is wondering where the ego of the artist lies. And here I used old boards and things that could have easily come out of the jungle. This one had a key and a lock, which kind of announces the, um, the power of theft. Why do we have locks? So every little thing in my work has a symbol. The gold, I mean, why did the Spanish come to the New World? To steal the gold. Uh, you've got the fringe, the kind of very elegant Lyon silk, the French, where they were coming, you know, coming to, to get all the animals, and these were the animal eyes in the jungle with the flashlights, and they, they light up when you see them in the woods and you're walking through the jungle at night. And gold and gold and more gold, and because Mexico was really a, a place to get the gold. So it was, it was a, the Mexican cross that was kind of savage in its crudeness and elegant in its refinement of the juxtaposition of old, what one in a materialistic society like America's would say is worthless, and then one from uh, the gold is the standard, world standard, until who was the president that took it out of as a gold standard for America? There was a president that said, no, it's no longer gold. Anyway, depending on politics and the amount of greed and theft and corruption in governments, it's an incredible phenomena. Uh, so this is the Mexican cross, and one that I like a lot. This, this came out of the city dump in Yalapa, 